August 21st, St. Francis de Chantel. At the age of 16, Jane Francis de Fremont, already a motherless child, was placed under the care of a worldly-minded governess. In this crisis, she offered herself to the Mother of God and secured Mary's protection for life. When a Protestant sought her hand, she steadily refused to marry an enemy of God and his church and shortly thereafterwards, in the year 1592, she married Baron de Chantel, and then hence lived in his feudal castle. She restored order to the household, which was on the brink of ruin, and brought back prosperity. During her husband's absence at court or with the army, when reproached for her extremely sober manner of dressing, her reply was, The eyes which I must please are hundreds of miles from here but god had marked her for more than domestic sanctity two children and a dearly beloved sister died and in the full tide of prosperity her husband baron de chantel was accidentally killed by a friend while out shooting in the year sixteen o one for seven years the sorrows of her widowhood were increased by the ill usage from servants and inferiors and the cruel inopportunes of friends who urged her to marry again harassed almost to despair by their entreaties she branded on her heart the name of jesus during lent in the year sixteen o four she visited her father at dijon where st francis de sales was preaching after hearing him she placed herself under his guidance then began an admirable correspondence between the two saints unfortunately the greater number of letters are no longer in existence as she destroyed them after the death of the holy bishop when she had assured the future security of her children and when she had provided the education of her youngest son she left her beloved home and children to live for god alone it was on the nineteenth of march sixteen o nine that madame de chantel bade farewell to her family and relations pale and with tears in her eyes she passed around the large room sweetly and humbly taking leave of each her son a boy now of fifteen used every entreaty every endearment to induce his mother not to leave them and at last passionately flung himself across the door of the room in agony of distress she passed over the body of her son to the embrace of her aged and disconsolate father the anguish of that parting reached its height when kneeling at the feet of the venerable old man she sought his blessing before she started for ansi where god was calling her to found the congregation of the visitation which she did on trinity sunday sixth of june in the year sixteen ten her reputation for sanctity was widespread queens princes and princesses flocked to the reception room of the visitation wherever she went to establish foundations the people gave her ovations these people she would say confused do not know me they are mistaken her body is venerated with that of st francis de sales in the church of the visitation at ansi she was beatified in the year seventeen fifty one and canonized in the year seventeen sixty seven august twenty first was appointed as her feast day learn to profit by the successive trials of life as did st jane francis and they will become stepping-stones from earth to heaven